Hey folks, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. As you by now know, the, my first Dark Souls 3 adventure came to a very sharp, sudden, and unexpected end in the electronic apocalypse, which basically lost all of my save games for everything, and most of my files as well. I'm still rather pissed off over it. But that's okay. It gives an opportunity to do what I'm thinking of as a semi-blind playthrough. Yes, I've gotten as far as Erythilian, uh, which, if I remember correctly, looked rather like Anna Orlando, much to my surprise. And, uh, you know, we can get back to there and have the whole blind experience from there. But I'm also taking this as an opportunity to start a new character and to, much like my Dark Souls 2 Tinkerbell playthrough, come up with a character who is um, themed, I think is the best way to put it. Uh, first of all, I have a character model created. Now, if you look at this and you can guess what the character's name is going to be, have a cigar or, you know, at least, you know, smoke. Uh, no, 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 eh, maybe, no, 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 actually, definitely no, this character would not in any way be a cleric, um, assassin is probably the closest, <coughs> and wouldn't be a bad starting point, I think, possibly, Although the Herald is a bit more balanced and I am thinking of doing what is usually called a quality build where you try and balance strength and, and dexterity to really have a character that can pound under the, their opponents. Um, but I'm not sure that she would be a Herald. Hmm. The only thing is she definitely wouldn't be a, a knight. Not, not a good one, certainly. Um... You know something? We'll start with Assassin. That will do. And uh, last chance to try and guess the name. Yeah. Her name is Morticia Adams. So if you're wondering why I'm creating a character like this. Uh, if the Tinkerbell playthrough of Dark Souls 2 is what happens to Tinkerbell after she leaves Neverland, this is kind of my view of how Morticia Adams becomes Morticia Adams. Because there's actually two different Morticia Adamses. The original Morticia Adams, her surname was Frump, pre-marriage. She wasn't, she wasn't an Adams to begin with, she married in. On the other hand, in the movies, she's the Adams and Gomez is the one that married in. I'm not really sure how that works, but I like the original character's storyline a bit better. But I like I love the way Angelica Houston looks, so we're going to go with this. Uh, burial gift. I think I'm going to grab some Sovereign Lassos so we can get a really good start. And uh, the only thing I didn't do was fix her. There we go. She's very slim. Does that let me change her... I don't want her to be mm. where is her musculature there we go no nope. there we go much better okay so we're done <coughs> beg your pardon I'm still getting over a pretty horrible illness so uh, I'm gonna be coughing a lot for this but that's okay we're gonna have a lot of fun with this cuz uh, I think Morticia Adams the young Morticia, who Mar Morticia Frump, who has just become an Adams. Well, I think she's the kind that would use daggers, small blades, not necessarily an S talk or a rapier, because well, Tinkerbell, I'm kind of inclined not to go that direction, but would certainly use smaller weapons like things like the a straight sword, a basic straight sword, or maybe one of the the kind of twisted daggers that the Corvians wields later on in the game I'm not entirely sure where to go weapon wise like I said this character look and aesthetic is very much based on 
Morticia Adams, but you know, she's not exactly Morticia Adams, you know, if you get what I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure anybody knows what I mean right now. Anyway, right. You die. I do love I really, really do love the thrusting swords. I never thought I would. I always hated them in Dark Souls 1. But <coughs> but Dark Souls 2, wow. It really, really pushed the, the thrusting swords and, and the straight swords right into full view, which is something really special. Wow, that does a lot of damage. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, yeah, might as well do our usual route. Actually, my usual route is this way. And, uh, we will come back for the, we will come back for the Crystal Lizard. I have no intentions of fighting the Crystal Lizard right now because I'm not suicidal. Oh, fuck you. Drop anything? Nah, of course not. Because they're assholes. Uh, so this character, admittedly like a lot of my characters, is definitely not going to be a parry character. She is... Actually, I should check what the sword art for this is. <coughs> Shit. Uh, she's very much going to be about backstabbing and poison. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, expect to see a couple of poison weapons in this playthrough because I really like poison and so does this character. Uh, I'm not going to be using fire. Well, I'll make up one fire weapon of some kind for dealing with the maggot guys, but I might just use a torch for that. It's quite A torch is quite sufficient, generally speaking, for dealing with them. Um, yeah, apart from that, not really a lot to say about this character yet because... Uh, Still working on it, you know? Still work in progress. Whee! And I missed. God damn it, I missed. That? That is pretty decent. Um, plunging damage, actually. Actually, it was one thing I should do. There we go. There's no way Morticia Adams covers her head with a hood. Um, trying to be a little bit careful. I would really, really like to get through to the Firelink Shrine without dying, because... Seriously, that wasn't a backstab? Are you fucking kidding me? How was that not a backstab? And there is one really serious advantage to these lighter weapons, especially in an early, early stage build. And that is they use so little uh, endurance and so little stamina to actually make the attacks. Fucking brilliant. Just so good to have that that really decent cap oh okay I forgot about that that's where you get your first um, gesture goodbye tighten a shard I actually should point out this is actually my second attempt at recording this I got as far as uh, fighting Vort of the Boreal Valley and then I realized my microphone didn't record anything. Okay, hang on. What did I... F did I miss? I... I guess I... I didn't pick up those... I actually didn't pick up the firebombs. Not that they're usually useful against... Um, Udek. Nice. You are a bastard. I approve of that. Uh, fire bombs. They're not really that effective against the uh, second stage of the first boss. Because they don't stagger him. 
and really that is what you want from fire bombs at that point in the game you you want them to stagger the bastard and they're not going to they're just not going to stagger him so you know why even bother and i'm wasting so much time here but this time we're going through to the boss i'm just going to rest get my health back because i don't want to waste an estus and uh yeah should be good And like I said, I'm not entirely sure where this character is going to be going. I want to use lighter weapons, but I don't necessarily want to use thrusting swords because I'm in the middle of doing that with Tinkerbell. And, you know, as fun and all as that is, it's not going to be that amusing for you to watch. So I'm kind of inclined more to go towards, I guess, more the dagger route or at least really short swords. Um, as for story-wise... Morticia Frump woke up one morning and she wasn't in America anymore. No, no, she was here in Drang Lake. Is it Drang Lake or is it Lothric? It's Lothric, isn't it? It's Lothric. I, got, I mixed up my games. Anyway, she woke up in Lothric and now the only way for her to get home, link the fire. Or plunge the world into darkness. Take a guess what this one, what this woman is going to do. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically the concept behind this character. <laughs> she's not exactly evil, but she's not exactly good either. I would think of her as uh, probably lawful evil. Whoa, big hit. I do love that. I really do love that moveset. He has just got the most badass moveset. I want him to jump. Come on, jump at me, bro. Oh, big damage. Now I need to heal up. Next bout of damage will bring out the uh... oh shit I want it to be closer ah crap why did he come on stagger you fuck and I'm dead <laughs> I'm not dead how in the hell am I still alive Get in there, you. And done in one. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Coil sword, we are done with that. Boom. And that is a serious amount of souls right away. So, yeah, if my voice sounds rougher than normal or if I sound kind of nasally, it's because I am. <laughs> I'm not feeling very well. But you know what? I wanted to play some Dark Souls 3. I wanted to bring you along all along for the journey. You know, fuck it. Okay, how do I... Oh, it's back here, isn't it? Hello. Oh, I have a catalyst. I didn't realize that. And that's you. Um, Homeward Bones, the game's way of telling you you've come to a bad neighborhood. But admittedly in Dark Souls 3, that describes everywhere. There's nowhere in this game that isn't a bad neighborhood. And that's a good thing. Okay, now I know one of those is a... Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh, 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 I like that weapon art. Oh, that that's beautiful. I like that a lot. <laughs> I don't think I have to worry about any more archers in this area. So, um, I want to find the guy who's... Ah, there he is. Now, if I can just remember, how do you kick again? No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's definitely not it, but... Oh, well. Hello. Goodbye. 